Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. Boost. <laughs> I'm, it's shaking, making it all help. I'm YouTube famous now. <laughs> Available in 2020, the album, Dad and Dancing with myself, I'm a dancing with myself. It is a Billy Idol kind of day today. I've been listening to Billy Idol as I drive around Indianapolis. I went and I got my coffee. Do you have your coffee? Do you have your tea? Do you have your water? All of that. We're sitting up in the kitchen. Listen, get your humongous chapstick out. Put it on. <laughs> Throw it behind you. Ah! And let's start talking. It's just like we're sitting up in my kitchen having a conversation. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, um, if you have never seen my review of my humongous chapsticks, I have more than one review of it actually over my review channel. Go check it out. And in fact, the other day I reviewed the Burger King Impossible Whopper. It was, you'll have to go find out. But I got so many comments on that video. Now, this is the importance of fact checking, which I never do. Um, <laughs> I just don't. I'm a drama commentary channel, not a receipt channel. Anyway, um, so there's no point for me to have to fact check. But apparently a lot of people that watch the video didn't fact check either. Because a lot of people, so there's a part of the video that I go through and I open it and there's no cheese on it. Okay, I was bitter. Well, I didn't understand the whole reason why people were like explaining to me that there was no cheese on it because I ordered it vegan because I'm a vegetarian. Um, but last night on my vlog, I explained it because I was like, oh, it just like came to me while I was vlogging. Like I understood it all of a sudden. But so many people on the video said you didn't order cheese. So I was like, I'm going to fact check this. And lo and behold, hallelujah chorus. Yes, Peter did order cheese on that Whopper. So go check it out. You better do your fact checks. Anyway, I'm having so much fun with that review channel. I have a hilarious review that I'm doing over there today. I've been reviewing fidget toys and Starbucks drinks and impossible Whoppers and all kinds of things over there. But <laughs> this is falling apart on me here. Okay, I have some serious news to talk about today. I am <laughs> I'm absolutely devastated. Ding a ling a ling, shan a lang dang, ding dong, ding. Yes, we're getting into the Jaclyn Hill drama in just a second, but I have something more important to talk about first. How's the drama drama phone? This is Peter speaking. Oh hi, Jane. How are you? Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't see it to the one I didn't see you at the women's league on Thursday. Uh-huh. What were you doing? Oh, you are catching up on Are You the One on MTV? I knew you loved that show. Mm hmm Don loves that show, too. He's always looking for his one. I mean, he thinks I'm his one. Uh-huh. Well, all right, Jane, you're going to be at the Women's League this Thursday? Uh-huh. What are you making? Uh-huh. Uh, tuna Tetrazzini. Oh, you stole that idea from me. Uh-huh. It happens all the time. Well, all right, Jane, I guess I'll see you at the Women's League. All right. Bye-bye. So, anyway, um... The drama. The drama is that Todd Chrisley and his wife, did you guys hear about this? Oh, okay. Did we not learn from Abby Lee Miller? Seriously, okay? I watched Dance Moms for, I think I've watched every episode of Dance Moms until this season, which is totally stupid. I loved Dance Moms back in the day. And in fact, I said if I ever won an Oscar or a Grammy or an Emmy or whatever, that I would get up there and I would say, when they said, who would you like to thank? I'd say, ALDC, but anyway. So Todd Chrisley from the show Chrisley Knows Best, which I watched every episode of that scripted show. And one time I even tw tweeted out, I said, I love uh, Chrisley Knows Best. But, or, is that what it's called? Yeah. But that show is so incredibly scripted. And Todd Chrisley himself uh, tweeted back at me. And he was like, um, I would love if it was. That would make it funnier, but it's not. Or something like that. I was like, have you ever watched your own damn show? It's so scripted. So anyway. TMZ, Todd Chrisley, indicted for tax evasion, says he's innocent. Todd and Julie Chrisley, I do love her so much though, don't you? And do you love Faye, his mom? I mean, I love the whole family. They're so nice, aren't they? Todd and Julie Chrisley are now under federal indictment for tax evasion and fraud, but the reality stars say they knew the charges were coming and insist they did nothing wrong. A federal grand jury in Atlanta indicted Todd and Julie Tuesday on multiple counts of conspiracy, bank fraud, wire fraud, and tax evasion. The couple's accountant, blah, 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 was also indicted on tax-related offenses. And then it goes in here and says all this kind of stuff. According to prosecutors, Todd and Julie ran the scheme from 2000, the scheme, the scheme of it all, uh, from 2007 through 2012, allegedly fabricating documents and providing false information to banks when applying for and receiving millions of dollars in loans, which they allegedly, allegedly, <laughs> TMC, used to fund their lavish lifestyle. They do have quite the lavish lifestyle, don't you think? 
So anyway, what do you think will happen? That is really sad. They're such a nice family. Anyway, that's like those Christmas cards back in the day that my mother hated, you know? And it would be like, it'd be like, well, I don't know, Don and Vivian and their kids. And they'd be like, Julie's going to Smith in the fall. And John just got a full ride scholarship to Brown. And we're so happy. And my mother said, she goes, I'm going to take one of those pictures. And it's just going to be like, Peter went to treatment. The dog died and I'm miserable. <laughs> That's what she was going to put out, a Christmas card like that back in the day. So anyway, the Todd Grizzly thing, it does make me so sad, though. Do y'all watch your reality shows? Oh, my God. I love the reality shows. In fact, I'm thinking about changing this whole channel just to doing coverage of reality shows. What do y'all think about that? I'm going to do the, the, all the Housewives. I literally watch all the Housewives except for those boring Housewives of the Potomac or Potomac or whatever. I don't watch that one, okay? And New Jersey, I hardly ever watch. But... Atlanta's my favorite, then I love New York, Beverly Hills, and of course, I love Vicky, the OG of the OC. Okay, so I'm thinking about maybe doing some of those videos over here. Dance Moms, all of it. Why not? Life is short. Jacqueline Hill, and Jacqueline Hill knows that life is short, and that's what, I swear to God, there are like hairs floating, do you see this? Look, there are hairs floating all, they're not coming from my chapstick, because my chapstick's in the kitchen, and it came all the way from China, and it didn't melt. Okay, so anyway. Jacqueline Hill, who I have now not made a video about in, I think, maybe two weeks. <laughs> so, anyway, Jacqueline Hill um, posted a picture on Instagram that got a lot of interesting comments. Um, here's the picture that she posted right here. Well, she posted, like, six pictures, but I'm just going to show this, this picture right here. And it is her with her hands up, and she is eating crab. <laughs> so, anyway... Um, she said underneath here, while I was away from socials, I celebrated my 29th birthday. I so decided to celebrate my, uh, by including all of my closest friends, family, who are also cancers. Well, I'm a cancer and she didn't invite me. So apparently we're not that close. I love you, Jacqueline. Okay. Um, and celebrate all of us together. So I turned my house into a crab castle since we are the crab and the zodiac. Six of us, thank you for, thank you, Jacqueline, for educating us on the zodiacs. Okay. Six of us celebrated together and invited our closest friends. It was amazing. We ate so much crab. Um, I thought I was going to pop, but so worth it. I wanted to share these photos with you guys so you can be part of the celebration. Happiest birthday to the five cancers in my life. I love you so much. And, you know, I thought that was really, really nice. Uh, I will tell you that there was a lot of speculation, and there has been a lot of speculation. Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reference this. Uh, what is going on? I got, every time I do a Jacqueline Hill video, there's just hairs falling all off of me. Okay, there's another picture, and I'm not going to show it, but it was a picture that she... Um, well, here it is right here. I'll show it up here. And it's her, and she is hugging her boy. He's, like, carrying her, and she's got sweatpants on and stuff. And underneath here, this was she posted this on August 1st. And it said, I have gained 20 pounds in the last seven weeks. I'm being transparent with you guys because I have been getting lots of comments about my weight. I have never been this insecure about my physical appearance in my life. Sweatpants are literally the only thing that fits me right now, and I've had to go up two sizes in my jeans. But this guy right here, and she tags her boyfriend, Jordan, uh, still tells me how beautiful I am every single day and still picks me up and makes me feel like the most special girl in the world. He speaks to my heart every day and genuinely believe God himself blessed me with him. He's a special one. Side note, you're going to notice in, uh, I'm bigger and... Uh, Notice in my future videos, my face is bigger, my arms are bigger, my entire body is bigger. But you'll just have to deal with it because this is me. So anyway, and she got a lot of really mixed comments about that. People are speculating. Now, if you go in and you look at the pictures on her newest picture, I'll just send you guys over to Jacqueline so you can go check it. I don't know why this camera is so dark tonight. I have the ring light right on me. And it's, it's kind of rainy outside, so maybe that's that. But um, literally every picture that she takes, she's like covering her gut. <laughs> she's like this, well, her gut or, you know, her middle section. And uh, I don't know, do we call women, do we call it their belly a gut? And I call my gut, hey, did nobody want to see this, okay? I'm just saying. So anyway, um, she's covering, like, every time she's taking a picture, she's like this, her arm's like this, or it's like strategic, you know? There's just like, this one picture, and it's everybody in the birthday, and it's like, they're all like, and, and she's down at the bottom, and it's just her head, it's very confusing. So anyway, people are speculating that Jacqueline is pregnant, and she's trying to hide that from people. I don't know, okay? And I'm not going to speculate that. I'm not going to speculate about her wealth. I, or her, I, I won't speculate about her wealth, either, which I'm sure is plentiful. I'm not going to speculate about her health or her pregnancy, but if she is pregnant, uh, congratulations, Jacqueline, on that. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to speculate that about that in my video. The other thing I have to say, though, is, you know, I am somebody that has dealt with my weight my entire life. I struggle with it. I talk a lot about it on my vlog. If you've watched my videos for a long time, you know that I have gone up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, and all my life. I mean, literally since I was 17 years old, and I'm super insecure about it. It's one of my biggest insecurities. Prob it probably is my biggest insecurity. Um, you know, and a long time ago, my biggest insecurity was my voice, but I realized I can't change my voice, and this is who I am, and I like my voice today. So, 
Um, and it's just part of who I am. But I will tell you that in pictures, uh, I, like the other day, my husband posted a picture on this Instagram. We were all out for a family, uh, uh, buffet, family buffet. Oh God, I wish y'all know I love the buffet. But we were out for a family brunch and I'm like, every picture I'm like behind. And the one picture where I'm up in front, I'm like, <laughs> that's the one he decided to post. I'm like, oh my God. So anyway, I think that was a little signal like you need to get back on the uh, Optavia, which I am back on the Optavia. So anyway, that's the diet that I'm doing right now. But you know what? I was talking to a friend of mine the other day because I say a lot in my videos. I'm like, I'm fat, I'm heavy, I don't like it, blah, 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 whatever. And my friend is a little bit bigger. And, you know, she said to me, she said, um, I really want you to think about when you say that. She goes, I understand that that's how you feel inside. She said, but to people that are really, really big, she was like, you know, it, it makes you feel even worse when you, you say those things. And I, and I get that. And I had never seen it from that perspective. But, you know, it's interesting because when I have friends of mine that, let's say, are 10 pounds overweight and they're like, oh, I'm so fat. Um, you know, I sit there and I'm like, you think you're so fat? Try not wanting to go to the pool because you don't want to sit shirtless by the pool. You know what I mean? So I totally understand that. And it was a really good learning experience for me. It made me realize that I need to be more sensitive about the things that I'm saying, you know, about myself because of how other people might interpret them. So the only reason I talked about that though was because Jacqueline references that down here. Um, so I want to go in here and I want to read you some of the comments because she gets a little crabby in the comments. No, not really. She doesn't. Um, the first comment on here is the Poor House Candle Company, which somebody the other day thought I said the Whore House Candle Company. But I'm telling you, that would be a great name. And she said, I'm also a cancer June 24th, but I'm allergic to seafood. I, too, do not eat seafood. But anyway, I do have candles with the Poor House Candle Company. I have Serenity and Peace, which we're all looking for. It smells like lemons. It's fantastic. And then I have Peter's Drama Class, which smells like cologne. It's got hairs on it. It smells like cologne. It smells like my my cologne. Um, it's delicious. Oh. And then I have Peter's Haunted House, which smells like fall, and I love it. And uh, these are the three candles that I have with the Poor House Candle Company. The link is below. It's an affiliate link. I do make a little bit of coin, just being transparent in case you want to go buy them. Um, everybody seems to love them. I love them. She just sent me a box the other day. Are you ready? With my new candle. My new candle that is coming out, I think September 1st, we talked about. I am so, so excited. It probably, to me, is my most meaningful candle that I've done with her. I mean, the idea that I even have a candle is crazy, but it's my most meaningful candle that I did with her. So that's coming out with September 1st, and we're planning a Halloween candle, so I'm super excited. Okay, but go check her out. It's linked below. Um, and then the next one said, uh, somebody said, I thought you were fixing your lipsticks, uh, not partying, LMAO. And Jacqueline Hill responded to them and said, it was one night. I didn't even want to celebrate my birthday, but I glad, I'm glad I did. And somebody said back to this person, I hope you fix your bitter heart. And uh, then somebody else said, right? What a thing to say. So rude. And then somebody else said, partying, LMAO, a birthday dinner is partying now. Jesus, get a life. Well, that's what happens when you get older, okay? You're not partying no more, okay? A birthday dinner is kind of partying to me, but not to her. Wow, go fix your SH attitude. Okay. Uh, somebody else said, go live your life. You're allowed to celebrate your birthday. People are so rude and happy birthday, by the way. And it's interesting, I have to tell you that by reading the comments, Jacqueline's not, I don't think she's deleting comments on this one. I really, really don't. It doesn't seem like she is. Um, and then it's a bunch of friends and they kind of say things in here. And there's a lot of people that are saying really sweet things to Jacqueline. And um, then somebody else said, imagine throwing a huge ass party like this, but complaining about jeans not fitting you, making it sound like you can't just buy new ones. And Jacqueline responded to this, okay? This is in reference to the other picture. And she said, I think you missed the joke I was making in my last po post. Sweatpants are the only thing that fits me right now is a line for Mean Girls. I was trying to bring in some uh, humor since I felt very vulnerable opening up. And you know, I think the thing is, is that, I don't know, you know, uh, like, I've been tough on Jacqueline, you know? I really, really have, and I've said in a lot of my videos that I like Jacqueline as a person, you know? Do I think she's the world's greatest businesswoman? No, I don't, and I have no problem admitting that. And if she were standing right in front of me, I would say, Jacqueline, I think you have a lot to learn about being a businesswoman, which I think that she would admit, you know? But I think that she has probably taken a lot of time, I hope she has, in the last couple of months to reflect, and I think being vulnerable and being raw and being open is one of those ways, and, you know, I, I, I am always somebody that kind of sits back and tries to just continue to go with the flow and what does that person present with me today I'm a person that has said I've said this in my videos for ever since I've started that I believe people deserve second fifth ninth chances right and I'm not saying that you know Jacqueline doesn't there are a lot of people that have just canceled her across the board 
Interestingly enough, though, she isn't losing very many subscribers as a result of all this. Nothing in comparison to other people, you know. So, uh, some people are maybe held to a different standard. But I think that her, you know, um, owning that she's trying to be vo more vulnerable, I think it's an interesting stance. And I hope going forward, that's the Jacqueline that we get to see. I hope we get to see a little bit more vulnerable uh, Jacqueline Hill. You know, I think the YouTube world is a weird place. It's like... I was talking about this on my vlog the other night that, you know, I, I think that once you kind of get into it, it's like, it's kind of hard at some point not to get a little full of yourself. And I even said in my vlog that I think to some degree I was going in that direction, you know, and that's like at the end of the day, who am I? Okay. I'm some dude that lives in the middle of Indiana with my dogs. I just bought some new succulents for my husband at the Meyer today. Aren't they so pretty? Because he loves them. You know, and I drive around with my good Judy. I get a coffee. I get a fountain pop with my good Judy. I go to the casino. I, it's not that deep, right? And that's who I am at my core. And I have to always remember that. And I think when you're on somebody like Jacqueline's level, it's hard. It's like you're getting all this attention. You're getting all this whatever. You're making a lot of money. You know, you're getting to have a lifestyle you've never been able to have. And then something happens and it brings you down. Like, it, you know, it like brings you down to earth a little bit. And I'm hoping that, that that's what this experience has done. Jacqueline could come out of this. And, and this is what I have said from the very beginning that I hope she doesn't refuse to learn the lesson she could come out of this a hundred times better person than she ever was before right not that she wasn't a great person before but we all need to learn lessons in life you know and I've always said that whenever I'm going through something you know like I'll talk to my sponsor and my sponsor will say to me this is an opportunity for growth you know and that I wake up every day trying to look at the things that I need to work on in my life and become the best version of myself that I can be on a daily basis and um, I, I, I hope that for everybody else too you know um so people go on here and they say other things. Oh, Jacqueline, I love this. So inspirational, full of life. That's so funny. Uh, then they, a lot of people are talking about the gloves. In fact, somebody in here says, um, that's the type of gloves your factory should have worn because she has plastic gloves on while she's eating the crab. Other people are commenting about the eating of the crabs that you're, or the eating of the crabs with these gloves are not the kind of gloves you should wear in certain states. I don't know about all that. I don't eat crab, okay? But I do. My good Jeannie Melissa, she loves to go to the seafood buffet at casinos and not around here because it sucks, but like real casinos like in Las Vegas or places. Where were we that she wanted to do that? I can't even remember. Okay. Um, and somebody else said, there's some things in here about the speculation. I'm not going to read those. Um, somebody said, so you can use the correct gloves for eating crab, but not for your lipsticks. Hmm. And let's see what people said underneath there. Crying emojis. Somebody said F and gold. Um, somebody else said, I, I don't understand that comment. You must spend SH ton of money every time you have a party. Oh, this is interesting because they just go in and talk about how much money she must have and they don't, things like that. And somebody said, oh, somebody said something about her age. Um, okay, such a fun celebration. That's funny. Good joke with the gloves. Is it though? Is she shading herself? Is she shading everybody that said something about the gloves? I don't know. It's interesting. What do you guys think? Um, you know, it's like, I do think that she thinks we're just going to all forget about this and move on it. And maybe that is what's going to happen. You know, maybe the comments will eventually dwindle down. You know, I was talking to somebody today about comments on a video and I said, just let them have their comments, you know, like just let people have their say. Um, and at least they're having the discussion in your comment section, right? You know, let them have what they have, let them say what they want to say. You know, maybe over time, once people get tired of saying the things that they're saying, it'll go away and then people will forget and then she'll move on and she'll put out another product. I mean, is that what she's thinking is going to happen? I don't know. Do you think that that is a good plan? Do you think it's not a good plan? I still wish that she would address the things that have happened. And, you know, people have said to me, like, what do you think that she needs to address? I think for her to sit down and do... I don't know, a lengthy video, like an hour, and talk about what happened from the beginning to the end, and maybe she can't because of legal issues, I don't know. But then also talk about like how it affected her as a person, what she's learned from it, who she wants to be going forward. I think would help her regain some faith with the people that love her, and that's just my suggestion. But, you know, I, I think that would be, you know, to, so that she wants to talk about transparency and vulnerability. Well, I think that's what the people that have lost faith in her why they have lost faith in her because she can be transparent you know about her weight gain but it's like okay but you don't want to be transparent about this over here so it doesn't it's not consistent and i think people are unsure about that so we'll have to see what happens my phone is ringing so that means it's drama <laughs> the drama phone is ringing anyway i love you guys and i will see you tomorrow leave what your leave your comments in the comment section below